located abdominally under the skin and within the endomycium surrounding the muscle fiber. Marbling. When fat is associated with the muscle fiber due to its appearance in the meat, a wavy line or wavy lines resembling to marble appear. This thing is called meat marbling. Meat composition vary with the species of the animal. Species variation due to breed, age, sex, diet and exercise condition. Anatomical placement of the meat in focus. Here typical percentage composition of some meat with medium amount of fats. Color changes in meat or postmortem changes. Postmortem changes in meat are the process of converting one living muscle to meat begins soon after the animal has bled and the oxygen in the muscle is rapidly exhausted. Impartial breathing, bleeding is a major defect that lead to early meat spoilage. Postmortem changes in meat are pre rigor stage, rigor mortis, post rigor stage, meat pH, PSC, and DFT. These are the stages we have already touched in previous lecture. In pre rigor stage, a series of changes in the cell metabolism as well as the protein structure occurs. Upon death, the ATP stores are depleted, oxygen is stopped, leading to an anaerobic glycolysis and subsequent formation of lactic acid, which in turn cause the pH to fall. Then comes the stage of rigor mortis. Immediately after an animal is killed, the muscles are soft and Pliable. As the pH falls, the development of a stiff and rigid condition occur. Biochemically, it is accompanied by the formation of actomyosin, a link protein, from which what was previously the two distinct actin and myosin proteins of the muscle fiber. These actin and myosin are linked together to form actin actomyosin the onset of rigor mortis occur within the first 12 hours after slaughter and may last for a period of about 24 hours for chicken the onset is less than 30 minutes for turkey less than an hour in case of pork 15 minutes to 3 hours and for beef, 6 to 12 hours. Fish are known to exhibit shorter rigor mortis period. Post rigor stage. After stiffening process, they characterize rigor mortis. The muscle gradually tenderize. The main factor in this resolution of rigor is loss of biological regulation of proteases. Chilling and cold shortening used to control the post rigor changes. Factors that lead to deterioration because of bacterial and enzymatic action are the condition of slaughter, the health and condition of the animal prior to slaughter, the stages and condition of meat, the pH and acidity of the meat. Meat pH. The drop in pH is one of the most important biochemical event in meat. Normal pH ranges from 7.2 to 7.4 which is usually reduced up to 5.5 for the red meat and up to 5.9 for the poultry meat. The loss of water holding capacity in turn leads to low productive yield and quality. Water holding capacity 
is the ability of meat to retain its water during the processing, storage and cooking. What is PSC and BFD? PSC stands for pale, soft and exudative. DFD stands for dark, firm and dry. A low meat pH is often associated with the low water holding, water holding capacity which results into pale meat color. High meat pH often causes a dark meat color. Both pale and dark color are unattractive to the consumers and have poor cooking quality. So this is what normal meat looks like and pale soft and exudative meat look like this okay let's discuss meat cuts type of meat and poultry meat cuts First is carcass, wholesale cuts and fabricated cuts. Type of meat and poultry, chicken the most pop popular and widely eaten poultry in the world. Inexpensive and readily available. Contains both light and dark meat, relatively lean, available fresh or frozen in a variety of form. Extremely versatile. There are various classes of chicken which includes game hen, boilers, roosters, coupon and hen. Game hen, young or immature, very flavorful. Used for grilling and oven roasting. Broiler or Fryer, young with soft and smooth textured skin, relatively lean, flexible breast bone. Capon, surgically castrated male, having tender meat with soft, smooth skin. Bread for well flavored meat, contain a high portion of light and dark meat, relatively high in fat. Let's discuss cuts of chicken. Kitchen uh, chicken is sold as whole chicken. Whole chickens are marketed either fresh or frozen. This whole chicken can be cut into exactly two halves called halves. The bird is split from the front to the back through the backbone. Then Breast quarters. Halves may be further cut into which including wings are called breast quarters. A breast quarter with the wing removed is called split breast. Split breast that has been skinned and deboned is called boneless or skinless breast. The whole bird is cut into many parts. Usually 8 piece cut is do, uh, done as shown in the picture. The whole chicken wing is a small white meat portion as shown in this picture. The first section between the shoulder and the elbow is called wing grommets. The flat center section and the flipper of the wing tip is called wing mid section. The section between the elbow and the tip is called wind oh, sorry wing mid section. The whole chicken leg is the drumstick plus thigh combination.
when this whole chicken leg without skin and bone is called boneless or skinless leg the thigh is the portion of the leg above the knee joint when bones and skin is removed from this thigh portion it is called boneless skinless thigh drumstick includes the low portion of the leg quarter the portion between the knee joint and the hock the giblets include heart liver and neck okay duck meat you only have boilers roasters and macho contain only dark meat large amount of fat high percentage of bone and fat to meat goose usually comes in two classes young and mature contain only dark meat very fatty skin popular at holidays served with acidic food based sauces Thank you.